Hey everyone, this is David. It's a afternoon. I don't even know what day it is. Isn't that crazy? How are you guys? Let's just do a quick hit. What is going on? What is new? What is exciting? Oh, what have we been doing, people? Uh, welcome. Um, as I take a minute to get settled here. Um, where do we want to begin? Happy afternoon. I just want to say again because there are listeners who are in the North Carolina, South Carolina, Asheville area. You know, it really is crazy what's going on there with this hurricane. And so anyone that wants to help out, you could donate to the Red Cross. You can, uh, I mean, like you can donate items, you can donate your time, you can donate money. So it really is insane what is going on there. So, but I am here, I am in New York City. And uh, today's a, today's a, I don't know, I'm not getting a lot done today. I want to start with uh, New Jersey, just touching upon some things. Um, this Margaret Josephs, I don't mean to pick on her, but she was on Melissa's podcast. And there's something else which came to my attention that I think is crafty of her. Shocking, a housewife being crafty. But uh, Margaret has spoken out. Look, nobody knows about next season of Jersey. We're not going to know. Everyone knows that. Melissa has even spoken out on it. But Margaret has basically all out, basically said that she has quit in a lot of roundabout ways. R-H-O-N-J if Louie comes back. Now, she hasn't, she kind of has said that. She kind of also hasn't said that, but she's very crafty, this Margaret, because look, I've already done my show. I still think that, I still think Teresa is going to be back. I can't help that. I do think Rachel Fudo is going to be back. I think Danielle Cabral and I think Dolores. I'm going to stick with those four. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. Um, but anything could happen. But so I really don't think Margaret is going to be back. That's just me. I think she has a better chance of being. Look, the two that I think are most likely not going to be back are Jackie and Jennifer Aiden. But Margaret has a better chance of being back than them. But I don't think she's going to be back. So she has now said that she has to protect her family and she cannot put herself in that position, and I think it would be dangerous for myself and my family. And this is what she's basically saying, hinting that she does not want to film with Teresa or with Louis. Louis, who made these alleged threatening calls to her son. So I think that it is very smart. First of all, let's just be honest here. That's absolute bullshit. Let's just be very honest. If Margaret Josephs were given her $800,000 and Teresa were back on the show and Margaret was told that she has to film with Teresa, Margaret would be filming with Teresa next season. I think Margaret is very smart because I do think Teresa is going to come back and I don't think we know any of this yet. But I think that basically when Margaret doesn't come back now next season and when Teresa is... um announced that she is coming back, Margaret's going to say, well, I couldn't put myself in that situation. I couldn't film with her. I couldn't film with Louie. It's very unsafe for my, you know, for my family. I can't put us in that situation. I just think it's a very, um, it's a very smart, smart. It's a compliment, Marge. It's a very smart thing to say, I won't film with Louie or Teresa because when they're back and you're not, you can say, well, it's my own choice. Even though I'm sorry, it's bullshit. You will come back and film with them if that is how you're going to keep your job. I just want to say that. So I think Margaret basically just quit the show if uh, Teresa's back. That's how I read it. Melissa has confirmed that, you know, nobody knows anything. And I do think it's funny though that Margaret went on to uh, Teresa the day after I had a psychic on this show that she said, you know, we're not bringing psychics on to tell us what's happening. She basically slammed Teresa's uh, psychic. And uh, they say whatever is meant to be is meant to be. And uh, Margaret does say one day, I think they might just say we're sick of all these broads in general. Let's just get all new people. And then she did say, but I think people are invested in us. Is this her talking? Yeah, this is her. I didn't know if it was her or Melissa. She said, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I think people are invested in us. And invest in our lives. And I mean, this I agree with this. And she said, we still had good ratings. We, you, you did. That's the crazy thing. You did have good ratings compared to the other franchises. And by the way, I blame all this on Teresa. 100% go to the back road, tree stumps. I blame it on Teresa because if anyone else was up to the unethical bullshit off air, 
with the bloggers and leaking the screeners and all this other shit, allegedly, that Teresa did. If it was anyone else, we would have just fired them and we'd be filming the show now. But because it was the queen, as the stumps say, we have a problem. So I blame Teresa, but I do agree with Margaret that you had good ratings, especially, I mean, New York. Uh, I haven't seen the, I got to focus on the numbers on Potomac, but New York, uh, the numbers are not good and the numbers are not great on Salt Lake. And so you did have good numbers. So look, I think they're going to bring back the show. I think they're going to bring back Vanderpump and there you go. And I think the Margaret's of the world and the Jackie's of the world and the Jennifer's of the world, the people that are not going back, I think love this pause. And I think they do want it to be rebooted and recast because it would just make you know, it's again, it's like you're sitting at your desk, you get called in, you get fired, there's a layoff, you have to pack your desk, you're outside, you're standing on the street corner, I'm picturing you in New York, that's the only thing I know, although LA, you're standing on the street corner with your cardboard box and all your desk belongings are in there, and you're calling your, your friend and you're crying, and then your best friend from work, your work husband, your work wife comes out, and all of a sudden... Doesn't make your situation any better, but you say, let's go fucking get drunk. And it's like 11 a.m. and misery loves company. So I think Jennifer and Jackie and Margaret and all the people that are probably not going back secretly probably hope that the whole show is recast because it'll just make them feel better. It's not me. We all got fired. Shannon is doing interviews and saying, uh, just doubling down, saying that she does not regret not uh, taking um, Alexis's olive branch that, uh, you know, Alexis had ulterior motives in sending her the, um, in sending her the flowers on her birthday and saying, you know, let's, you know, bury the hatchet. Shannon is saying there's manipulation behind that Alexis Bellino, Jesus Jugs uh, Jansen. Her official name is going to be Jesus Jugs Jansen. Has anyone really played this out? But Shannon says uh, she thinks there's manipulation behind it. And, you know, she is saying, well, there was a cast trip coming up and Alexis wants to go on the trip because who doesn't want to go on the trip? And that's the, um, that's the manipulation. I say there's manipulation in the fact that Jesus Jugs Jansen wants as much camera time as possible. So let's just break the fourth wall, Shannon. Uh, Jesus Jugs probably doesn't care about going on the vacation. Johnny J will take her on a vacation. She loves the fact that uh, that uh, she really wanted more camera time. And that's what it was. Um, for anyone watching me on YouTube right now, I look so fucking tired. I got to tell you, I went to the Justin Timberlake concert last night and uh, I love me some JT. I got to be honest with you. I mean, I love me some JT. JT and Miley, you know, they're both so good. Uh, the concert was great. I'm supposed to go back again tonight, but um, I'm not going to. I just don't want to. Uh so there you go. And I really look tired for everyone watching on YouTube. So there you go. Nothing shocking.